What's up everyone? I hope you're well and I hope you're good forever and always. You guys are my peoples, just remember that. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Every Tuesday I'm going to come out with a video either about a random topic or a story time video. So you guys hit me up in the comment section below or just message me privately and tell me what you guys want to hear me talk about, what, what we should discuss on my channel. So today, my lucky, fabulous people, we're going to go into a story time. This is this is an interesting one. You guys are going to be like, what? Okay, so first story time today, let me get comfortable because as you do, as you do, hopefully I don't fall asleep. Today's story time is about the time that I cried and laughed at the same damn time. Yep, you heard me right. I cried and laughed at the same time. I know you're thinking, what the hell, is that even possible? But I'm telling you this now, it is possible because it happened to me. All right, so let me give you the settings. So this is years ago in primary school. I still remember the story till today. That's how much of an effect it had on me. All right, so in primary school now, well, in my primary school, you know, everyone has one teacher that teaches you every subject. In my primary school, we had one teacher that taught us most subjects, and then we had another teacher, or a couple other teachers that taught us other subjects, right? So this particular teacher that I'm talking about, this teacher was called Mr. March, and by his name, you already know he's a serious guy. And Mr. March, you know. Anyways, let me paint a picture of him. He was tall, white, um, he was, he, to me, he was very tall, but obviously when you're in primary school, you're quite young and quite small, aren't you? So everyone looks tall. So I would say he's six foot something. He had a white beard, um, white hair. It wasn't even gray, you know, white. There's always a couple of teachers that, that I think they're the boss, like, and they're not head teacher or whatever, they act like they are. He was one of them. But he was a nice guy. I'm not gonna, he was a nice guy, do you know what I mean? He was a nice teacher, and I learned a lot from him. Let me give you a backstory to how I was in primary school, right? I was a bit of a character, let's just say. And I was just called Miss Chatterbox. Till this day, I kind of simmered down a bit, but I used to laugh at everything, right? I used to laugh at everything. And now that I'm older, I've realised that everything isn't funny. It's just not funny. But at the time, when I was younger, I just thought everything was funny. Everything was a joke. I would make a joke out of anything. Do you know what I mean? So that was just me. That's how I was in primary school, right? Every parent's evening would be a case where the teacher would be like to my, my parents, oh, Charlene is a, is a fabulous pupil. She really is. But I have to say... She she is very talkative and she gets distracted so easily. I mean, if you was um, to teach Charlene and she's around her friends, there would be nothing taught. To me, that's an exaggeration because it's not like I was a class clown and I would hold up the whole lesson for everyone. I would just distract myself and maybe the people I was talking to. But anyways, regardless, yeah, I wasn't that bad. But you know when you're young boy, you're a distraction for everyone. So this one particular time in the playground, it was break time. And in our primary school, after break, you have to line up in a single line, right? And the teacher would, that you had for the next lesson or whoever, one teacher would take you back inside. So it was time to line up now. Mr. March was taking us inside. You already know where this story's going. All right, so he was taking us inside. He told us to line up in a single file line. So me and my silly <laughs> self, right, decided to not listen to him, but not intentionally. I mean, you could argue that it was intentional, I just wasn't listening. But at the time, I wasn't doing it on purpose, I wasn't trying to get in trouble. So, I was just laughing with my friends, you know, busting one-two jokes, you know how it goes in primary school. Just laughing away, chatting away as I do. And my back was facing Mr. March, right, so he could only see the back of my head. So my friends were facing me, facing the correct direction. They were, they were not good friends, you know, they were not good friends, they didn't warn me. That Mr. March was coming. All right, so he's like to me, Charlene, did you not hear me say get in line? I said yes. Sorry, sir. We walked back to the front of the line. I get in line now. Two minutes later, <laughs> why did it take so long to get inside in the first place? That's what I'm screaming. Anyways, <laughs> two twos now. I'm doing the same thing. I'm chatting. I hear Mr. March shout, Charlene, get in line. So I'm like, like giving attitude and all like, yes, sir. Like that's. That was me in back in the day, like attitude on 100, literally. <laughs> Ask anyone that knew me back in the day, I had an attitude on me. Oh my gosh. Oh, I miss those days. So I'm out of the line again and I'm talking to my friends again. And then Mr. March comes up to me 
and he's this close to my face. When I say he's this close, he's this close to my face, guys. This <laughs> close. And you know when someone's this close to your face, you're just in pure disbelief. Like, why are you this close to me? Why, please? So he's shouting at me. He's like, get in line. Now I don't know what took over his his soul, his body, his mind. His physical ability I don't know what took over him but he was shouting at me like I was his enemy this is why I still remember it till this day because his face was red like a tomato like literally this guy thought he was an action movie literally because he turned into the Hulk I don't understand why he was so angry but he was passionate about it. He's like, get in line, shouting and spitting. You know when spit comes out? I'm like, so I'm like this, like shaking, like literally. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm laughing because I cannot believe that this guy, now like I said I used to laugh at everything, right? I couldn't believe that this guy was that close to my face, shouting at me, getting so angry and so worked up. Like, So to me, I found that funny. Now, I don't know if it's because I was embarrassed, because my friends were around, or what the situation was, but... Tears just start falling on my face the same time I'm laughing. Because this guy, I don't think you understand. You wouldn't want your child to be shouted out like that the same way I was. I'm telling you, obviously, I, I kind of admit I deserve to be shouted at because I didn't listen a numerous amount of times. But to be shouted at like that, I was mm, a bit taken back. So I'm crying and I'm laughing at the same time. I'm <laughs> crying. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. God knows. That day. I will never forget and I will be telling my children that you don't want that treatment you don't want that to happen so you better listen the first time so I listened to him every single time he spoke after even if he wasn't speaking I was still looking at him like he was gonna say something because I weren't missing nothing he said no instruction I wasn't missing any of it ever again I was so embarrassed as well I was so embarrassed oh my god imagine that you're so young and you have your friends around you and all of that and flipping, you got this teacher just shouting at you, some big man shouting at you in front of everyone. Oh my god. It's just sad, it's actually just sad. But it was funny at the same time. Now, I don't know if it's just because I'm a very emotional being, so I got my emotions mixed up and, and the situation just went over my head because to me, the two just don't add up. You're getting in trouble. What is funny about it? And then I start crying as well. I wasn't sure how to handle my emotions at the time maybe because I'm really trying to come to a conclusion about it but anyways guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this story time there will be like I said every Tuesday on my channel short talks Tuesdays that's what we're gonna call it short talks Tuesdays I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's not just every Tuesday I'm gonna release a video by the way I will be uploading as well so guys I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it entertaining in some way. And I hope to see you soon. Peace. Short Talks Tuesday will be here every Tuesday. Duh. Oh my gosh. My heart that day. My soul. Mm-hmm.